Hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Trying to find tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. How's everybody doing? Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I had myself a little Super Bowl gathering. We had a lot of fun. You know what I got turned on to? <laughs> that I'm, I'm not being sponsored, okay? But that white claw, like seltzer, there's like a little bit of vodka, a little bit of like fruit juice, and then it's like seltzer water because I love those LaCroix. Oh my God, I was sucking them down like water, all right? So I probably got a little lit. <laughs> it was so fun. Those are delicious. I'll be drinking those all summer. All right. All right. Let's get into this for the Taurus. Two overall energies for my beautiful Taurus, please. All right. We have the star. So somebody's wish is coming true. Oh, my gosh. If you hope for a new house, you're getting the keys. If you hope for a new car, you're getting the keys, all right? You're getting the keys to something, something that you've been hoping, wishing, and praying for. A door is going to be opened for sure. What's on the other side of that door? It's whatever. It's your heart's desire, okay? It's opening something. It says star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You don't have to be. Um, but it says hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and possibility. Hey, <laughs> I'm all for that energy right now. All right. And then we have key. Let's read it. It says new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. So I feel like you healed. You healed something in yourself. Maybe some past trauma. Okay. And it wasn't easy. It was a long road. A lot of lessons learned. Um, you know, I hate that we have to experience traumatic, ex you know, things in our life, but we really do learn a lot from them. And it is it sometimes we have to face face some, you know, those issues down the road again, possibly. But the next time around, you're ready for it, all right? Um, but I see that you, you've you grown, you healed. You're emerging into the star. You have star quality, all right? You get a lot of attention. I think you're shining bright right now. I feel like you're. it's your moment to shine, Taurus, okay? And you're getting the keys, the keys that are going to open new opportunities for you, okay? Because I think you're ready. You're ready to accept your blessings. Why am I feeling that maybe in the past you were afraid? You're afraid of opportunities. You are afraid to take a leap of faith. You are afraid to take risks. But I feel it's because you weren't healed all the way. And it was like past events that kind of held you back. I feel like these opportunities are making their way back to you, though, because you're ready for them, okay? You're ready. You're ready now. You're ready. All right, let's go. Let's get into it with the Kipper. I think if these opportunities presented you, you know, back, back when, when you were doing your healing, like I said, it probably would have made you feel more stress. I think it would have made you um, be more in your head, you know, add an extra burden. I'm feeling with that. I'm feeling like 10 of wands energy it would just like be too much. Okay. The marriage card almost wanted to jump out. <laughs> And here we go again with this beauty energy. I mean, of course, because we are ruled by Venus. But again, I'm just feeling like somebody's really attracted to the Taurus. Or Taurus, you're really attracted to somebody right now. 
But I know in our, our last reading, we had somebody thought that you that you are the most beautiful person inside and out. And I'm still feeling that energy. And somebody wants to know if you're available. Somebody wants to know if you're single. And I know that marriage card almost wanted to pop out. Yeah, somebody wants to know if you're married. And if not, oh, the gift. <laughs> The engagement box. All right. Somebody wants to present you with something. Somebody wants to break the ice. But I feel like if you're hoping and wishing and praying possibly for a love connection, your red thread is coming through. And if you're unfamiliar with the red thread, go ahead and look it up. But it is our soul tie. Our soul tie that ties us to our masculine or ties us to our feminine, the person that we're destined to be with. And I feel it's time for you. Because you're ready for it and you're ready to accept it. Because you're healed. And, you know, you're healed enough to take chances and take risks and really jump out of that comfort zone. Which was like kind of like a prison of your own making in a way. Because at least you knew that those those problems that you are dealing with. It's just like if another one was to enter the ring, it would just be too much, like I said. <laughs> okay. So we have courthouse that wanted to come out. So something about legal issues. 23 is a master number. 2 plus the 3 is a 5. And 5s represent change. And 5s represent, you know, separation. And I feel like you had to separate from that negative energy. And it wasn't easy. And that could have been a person, place, or thing, you know. Taurus has a lot of um, issues with feeling, over feeling. You know, we are natural born empaths, okay. So you feel for things very deeply and you feel for people very deeply and you hold on longer than you have to. Like I said in other readings, you're usually the strength for other ones. Um... And I feel like something just got to be too much and you had to cut it off, okay? And that could be a legal separation or you could have been dealing with some sort of court issue that really had you restrained because there ain't nothing that's going to stress you out than dealing with the courts, all right? All right, more for this. More for the star. The star, the key, and the gift. <sighs> something legal. Maybe this gift is something... <sighs> Maybe this is... Property that's owed to you. More for the Taurus. Okay. Get ready to start. Get ready to turn that key. It's opening a brand new beginning. We have journey. We had this in your last reading too. All right. With the, with the train here. Full steam ahead. Get ready. Get your bags packed. Because you're on the next leg of your journey. The 10 represent endings, okay? Closing out those chapters that have been holding us back that we've really grown from. It's time to put those to an end, all right? We're not carrying that into the next leg of our, our journey where we're traveling, all right? Because there's all new adventures. There's all new things to experience, all right? And we're going to drop that zero. And when you drop that zero, you're at the one, all right? You're at the full energy, okay? Somebody that's strength, that, that's fearless. You evolved into somebody that's fearless, Taurus. And you're ready to take the chance. And you're ready to accept the adventure coming towards you. And you're looking to stay there. He, this person has a lot of their belongings with them. All right? It's like no turning back. And... I feel like there's going to be an increase in your finances because this is the wealthy man, okay? He's here with the tuxedo and the top hat. And he's looking to board that train. 
all right and it's coming in it's coming in to get you and it's taking you off to some place where you can like live comfortably where you can live without restraint where you're, you're like whatever you do however you are you'll be appreciated there I just feel like you were in some sort of stagnant energy for some time but no more you healed and you and unlocked a door in yourself and I feel like it may have been you know the key to like self-love self-confidence self-awareness spirituality And now you're calling in all sorts of blessings towards you. And you may have called love into yourself here. Okay. And the, it's a number 17. So seven plus a one. That's an eight. So that's an that's the number of abundance. Here's the figure eight also here with the red thread. So whatever you're desiring or whatever, like I said, you've been hoping, wishing, and praying and working really hard on yourself, you know. To like really expand your horizons, planting those star seeds, nurturing them, loving them. They took root and they're ready to blossom. And I'm hearing by summertime, which is not that far away, everything's going to be in full bloom. All right. And Taurus, you're going to have the best looking garden on the block. All right. <laughs> All right, one more for the Taurus. Oh, the bunch wanted to come out. One more for the Taurus. I am getting marriage proposal here. I am getting marriage proposal. Okay, we have toil and labor. All right, so this is whatever you've been working on, your little star seat, it's been a labor of love. Like I said, you're putting in the work. What I'm saying is just like repeating itself in the cards. You put in the work. It was like hard labor, this healing process. You had a lot of things you had to overcome. You've dealt with a lot in your life, Taurus. Okay. And now your karma is ready to come in. Good karma. Get ready to receive, Taurus. Brand new opportunities, fruitful abundance. I know I said something about seeds and summertime and whatever you planted, whatever you planted took root and it's going to bear fruit. And I'm feeling towards the summertime, everything's going to be really like a very noticeable, like you, like undeniable change. Okay. Here we go with the engagement. Four of Wands represents engagement, celebration, moving in together, moving in together, finding your person, finding the love of your life, red thread, red thread. You can comment, red thread. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is an engagement. This is moving in together or buying your first home together. Something that's built on a, a firm foundation. If you were in a relationship in, in the past that caused you trauma, that wasn't your person. Those are karmic lessons. Unfortunately, they grew you. <laughs> you, are, you are a little star seed yourself still growing. And I mean, this person, your past person probably couldn't even recognize you today. That's the transformation, big time. All right, let's see what else we have for the Taurus. Clarify all these cards, please, for my beautiful Taurus, please. Okay, your twin flame is arriving. They haven't arrived yet, but here, look at Something about the evening hours. You're going to be receiving some sort of message during the evening hours. Communication. Here is a twin flame. It's hiding behind the moon. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But somebody's very emotional. And maybe that's why they've had a hard time. 
maybe approaching you because this whatever this connection is they realize it's the red thread and they are feeling just like overwhelmed with their emotions that it's almost hard to approach but they have this burning desire for you taurus they lit up look at that they are lit up okay fire on water <laughs> all right and they have they hold you in such that's why they hold you in such high regard. You know, I told you they think that you are just like a god amongst men or goddess amongst men. All right. They hold you in high regard, much respect. And they want to make you their forever person. It's just they're really just. I'm feeling they're like beyond nervous. <laughs> like, um, I feel like this person went to the court to get the marriage license, okay? Or looked into all that information you need before you marry somebody. Somebody did that with this court. Like I said, you could have had court issues, but more with these cards. I'm feeling like the person actually is looking into all the details you know, how you get the license and the blood test and all this stuff. This person did that. Ugh, damn. <laughs> okay. Ooh, sorry. Here we are. <laughs> this is hiding in my Kipper deck, but wanted to fly out. Concern. Like I said, they're really nervous, but they're going to go through with it. They know that you're their divine match. And here's another master number, 33. Okay. So they've been divinely guided. Um, but I feel like there's a little ignoring of their intuitive pull of what spirit's trying to guide them to because they're scared. They're a little scared, okay? But it's coming in. It's coming in. And they want everything to be just right. Okay, so when they present you, there's no say they don't want to give you any reason to say no, Taurus. Okay, they want to win, they want a victory. <laughs> All right, more for the Taurus in this beautiful reading. Like, they can't wait. This person. They either want to start a family with you or they. They want to, sh I'm feeling like they want to show you off to everyone. This is what I'm really feeling. Like they want to like, I'm feeling somebody that's really, really intensely in love with my Taurus or Taurus, this could be you. Okay. We're, we love hard and you just can't wait to show this person off and show them to the world and declare them as your person. All right. We have the five of cups here. So they miss you. They hate that they're they're away from you. They hate that they held back their feelings. They feel if they don't make a move, they're going to lose you. So it's it's like an all or nothing deal coming in for the Taurus. Oh, here it comes. Taking a leap of faith, putting fear to the side, taking their chance, rolling the dice. Here we go with the full card, okay? Maybe... From now until April, okay? There's a proposal on the board. And I'm also feeling with the Five of Cups and the they've been fooling themselves out of this relationship. Okay? With that concern card that wanted to come out. Yeah. Here it is. Patience, something that's divinely guided, something that's being divinely worked out in the ethers. This is the angel of temperance. This is divine timing. And divine timing is about to strike. Okay? And it's going to strike with the tower. All right? It's just going to come in and be like, boom. Okay. Oh, okay. Here it is. We have the lovers. And then we have the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I could be dealing, t speaking with a... Um, a Taurus masculine in this reading that's getting ready to propose or vice versa. You could be the same signs. Okay. It could be a king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. But here it is with the lover's card. 
okay and these these pillars are not lit up yet all right so this is uh, here they're lit up see they're hiding their passion they're hiding their love all right and they're ready to expose it this is the lover's card so there's a masculine that's in love and getting ready to approach their person because they know you're their red thread all right all right let's get a few little messages here because i just purchased this deck and i want to break it in <laughs> All right. What does Taurus's lover? Let's let's okay. Taurus's lover. Taurus's red thread. Let's see. We have self indulgence, self worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciation. What? Did I freaking say kicking this entire thing off with was the star healing, knowing your worth, taking the time to heal, doing the shadow work, appreciating yourself, appreciating your talents. With self-indulgence, I'm more feeling like self-care, okay? Really taking care of yourself. Putting yourself first. And not feeling guilty about it. All right. More for more messages for the Taurus. And Taurus's love. Okay, we have partying. <laughs> Time with friends. Having fun. Happy. Single. Living in the moment. So I know I asked that question. Like this person, you may have met them at a gathering. You may have met them recently at a gathering. You know, anywhere from like Thanksgiving till now, there was all these little events that we have um, Valentine's Day coming up. We have St. Patrick's Day coming up and she's wearing kind of green. She's kind of earthly like <laughs> today. Um, but I feel like you, you cross paths, whether you knew it or not. And somebody's coming forward. So if you haven't met them yet, or, I mean, there's somebody already daydreaming about the Taurus and being involved and being married with them, okay? And you met them somewhere online. Like, you crossed paths online or this was like a social event you, you rent. Okay, talking. Look at this card. Oh, my God. It says talking. Interested, awaiting messages, texts, calls, emails, talking more. You could have met them online, okay, possibly. But you're definitely on somebody's mind. And I don't know, you, you had this conversation or just a very few words. But it really, oh, okay. They want to court you. They want to court you. Courtship. We have date night in old school. Date night. Here's pouring the champagne, pouring the wine, wanting to take you out. Get back out there. Missing someone now. Setting a date. Date online. What did I just say, you guys? <laughs> All right. And this is because this is the key. You're a phoenix. New phase and rekindle, renew, and growth change rise from the ashes you're getting a lot of attention you're getting a lot of onlookers and you called your person to you because of all the healing that you've done period point blank and this person is old school like i said they want to treat they want to wine and dine you they want long conversations that last the night they want to it's that old school love okay like they want to really court you but make no joke when this person comes in they've made their choice taurus and you're their choice and they might just do this you know courting thing with you know dating and talking for hours online or t hours on the phone what did i say i know i said late night conversations and texts like this person wants all of that and so do you but their motive is they already know you're the red thread and the proposal 
is coming and it's coming in a lot faster than maybe you're expecting all right all right taurus i hope this message helped you please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel I greatly appreciate that don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know every time i upload a video till next time baby dolls ciao